good morning and namaste all of you today i'm going to talk about o2 potatoes there are two terms you have to know oat and potatoes uh, you can see a beautiful picture in the slide as well here is a there is an item that help you to imagine let's see yeah, what do you see in the picture you can see uh, some houses uh, catching fire so as a poem is for imagination or the function uh, a poem does is very important for our imagination you need to imagine in my opinion the thing what is missing in our education is imagination in my opinion uh, imagination is the fundamental thing that education should cater in the mind of student that's why see what's happening there something is going wrong suppose uh, if your house were on fire and every living thing uh, were going to make it out alive what item or items how do you make sure to grab what thing would you take away in no time for example maybe your money bag your purse maybe your clothes or whatever is are handy and important right thing this is your house or this is the house where you are living right now and you have to run away in no time imagine the situation that pathetic situation that dangerous situation i think you have thought and try to list five things as i said earlier it could be your purse it could be your clothes and it's your turn to write other three okay without further delay let me go ahead and let me talk about oat what is it i think at this level for you it is somehow new concept for you oats so don't worry about this oat is a type of poem it adds to the particular subject and it praises that particular subject and while praising the author expresses his or her feeling about the subject so the subject can be person subject can be thing place etc and in our context there are lots of such poetry meru pyar okhal lunga by shakti charan shrestha in my opinion comes under this type of poetry okay let's now move into the next section this is about author paulo neruda ricardo eliezer naftali reis pasalo to that was his real name and paulo neruda was his pen name and he was originally from chile and he also won nobel prize in 1971 he's also considered as the postmodernist poet he was he had one strange habit that was he wrote everything only in green ink see as he was the postmodernist writer poet uh, his writing style mostly include surrealist poem historical epic 
Even he wrote political manifesto, a prose autobiography, and many other things. So because of his contribution, he was well, he is regarded as one of the greatest poets of the 20th century. So look at here. We are here in the next section. The theme of the poem, O to uh, Potatoes. So main theme, as I said earlier, especially in Ode, what is done is a dedication to the underappreciated but beautiful things are raised or are praised. So in this poem also, you know the importance of potato in our kitchen. We think it's not so much important, but imagine your breakfast, your lunch, your uh, uh, supper or something like that, any, anything, whatever you eat without potato. So it's vital, very important. So uh, generally, or common theme of, theme of this poem is the importance of potato or the poet's feeling toward potato. All those common people believe that it's dull, that's very important for him. And we can say, we can conclude it's very important for us as well. That's the vocabs used in this poem. Some words, for example, number one, underrated. It means without becoming any less strong. It means stronger, you can say, stronger, unabated. Benign, B-E-N-I-G-N, benign, it's kind and gentle. You can see the characteristics of word with uh, potato or tomato, there is only tomato. Viscera is a large organ inside body. So you can say when you cut uh, tomato into two halves, you can see internal organ. It's not like heart lungs here, but similar to this. Convolution is a thing that is very complicated and difficult to follow. Complicated thing, simply. Amplitude is a wave. You can say attraction also here, amplitude. Or our attitude toward that, amplitude, simply. In adjustable. Inadjustable, it means not finished here. You can compare this with tiredness also, but here not finished. You can see abundance also for here in this poetry. Parsley, similar, similar to coriander, parsley, vanilla in our country. Canal, tube, it's a maze, maze like tube, we can say here in my opinion. Pit. Stone or seed, unedible thing inside the fruit pit. Okay, let me see this poem line by line. Oat to potato, potatoes by Paulo Neruda. <clears throat> the street filled with tomatoes, midday summer. Light is half like a tomato. See here. Street of Chile has been compared with midday of summer. You can see. Tomato. This shadow, summer is very hot. You can see shadows, the buildings, maybe mountain. Right? And these things somehow seem red. Somehow seem in two halves because of shadow and light. So the halves of the tomato have been compared with shining part and shadow part of 
summer midday. Its juice run through the street. See, you can see another thing. Uh, in summer is a time of uh, ripening tomatoes, the season for that. So everywhere, what can be seen? Tomatoes and its juice in Chile. It's very popular there. Whereas in our country, in Nepal, uh, we rarely drink uh, tomato juice. Rarely. We do, but rarely. So the city, the town of Chile, is full of tomato and its juice also. That is one interpretation. Next one is, in summer, what happened? Because of sunlight. You can see shadow also, that's my interpretation. And shadow also is hot. So this can be compared with the half sliced potato, tomato, sorry. In December, in a weighted, the tomato invades the kitchen. In December also, unabated means equally. In December, in a weighted, the tomato invades the kitchen. It enters at lunchtime. It takes its ease on countertops among glasses, butter dishes, blue salt cellars. It sets lights on benign majesty. So in December, in each and every place of kitchen and each and every eating time, at each and every eating time, you can see tomatoes everywhere. For example, countertops, glasses, water dishes, salt cellar, everywhere. And it says it's online. It makes our kitchen, it makes our lunch time. Signing, that means, very majesty. It's a great thing, like gentle, beautiful, it makes, it signs our kitchen dishes and even our food items, that means, nine majesty, see here, nine majesty. Because of tomato, it's beautiful, it's tasty, it's delicious, and moreover, you can find it scattered, put everywhere, because of its importance. Unfortunately, see the poem again, another poem. Unfortunately, <clears throat> we must moderate. So it's very beautiful. See, personification. What you need to do is, you need to moderate. You need to chop it. Moderate. The knife sing, sings into living flesh, flesh of tomato. Read, Vesera, cool sun, profound, inexistible. Popular the salad of chili. So in salad of chili, it is most. What happens when it is murdered, it is chopped into two halves? This place is chopped. What happens then? Read, Vesera, cool sun. Maybe it's a sunlight, round like sun, Vishara, internal organs of tomato can be seen. It's profound, very attractive, inaccessible. Why? Without stopping. Everywhere, it is maybe in the sense of abundance, inaccessible. Everywhere, populate the salad. Actually, why? You can see everywhere in the salad the pieces of tomato. Happily, 
it is wet to the clear onion to the personification or gender conception it is wet waiting to that means the onion and celebrate the onion we pour oil maybe person over here is going to cook something maybe pickle or something so it is chopped mixed with onion and oil is poured and oil is poured there then what happened essential child of the olive seed of olive maybe onto his half hemisphere what is added then soil of olive pepper at its fragrance its aroma pepper is also added and then salt its magnet is when salt is added in the mixtures of tomato onion oil olive seed and pepper it will have magnetic power it attracts us our tongue our mouth start to water so then it is the wedding of the day so it has two thing that is a wedding of onion and next is this recipe is important in the wedding of chilean people you have to get two ideas in my opinion one is the marriage ceremony of tomato with onion that is one meaning denoted meaning and next meaning is it is one of the best recipe it is one of the most important recipe in the wedding day of chilean people <clears throat> parsley host is flat tomato bubble vigorously the aroma of the rose knocks at the door is the time so while cooking after adding sugar sorry salt or when cooking process is over the leaves of coriander or parsley are scatter over it and while cooking on the pan for example what happens it starts to bubble vigorously bubble start to come that means many bubble could be seen bubbles could be seen and when the roasting process is on a type of aroma fragrance smell can be felt so imagine the situation when you are preparing your cooking pickle of tomato in what adding these all ingredients so it would surely attract you and you can feel a type of pleasant aroma pleasant fragrance or smell after it is cooked you feel aroma what is done is the time come on and on the table on the kitchen table we see at the midpoint of summer especially in summer as i said earlier is a season of tomato so at the midpoint of summer the tomato it is what star of earth everywhere you could see beautiful thing recurrent and fertile star right is recurrent fertile star twinkling everywhere that means displays its convolution you can see the complexity of this everywhere and you might have some queries why it is 
here and there, everywhere. It's canal. Canal means like tube, like maze. Everywhere, wherever you go, you could see the same thing in the market because vendor in the vegetable shop in supermarket everywhere you could see tomato and tomatoes it's remarkable amplitude and abundance this wave amplitude is abundance that means can be seen everywhere it's remarkable there are many reasons behind this in summer is there in December also in each and every season it means summer and December they're just opposite so it somehow shows all over the seasons you could see tomatoes so it's popular it's common it's important it's everywhere you can say the girls only present with tomatoes so even in Kathmandu right now we can't imagine our uh, any uh, recipe without tomato. It's just like curry without salt. So, there are other reasons also why tomatoes are so much popular. Because it has no pits, no stone within it. It means no stone is seed within it. No husk, you have no husk to throw. That means you don't have to peel it and throw it house or no leaves or no corn leaves also you don't have to pick such leaves i know it's leaves that's why it's, it's same behavior no leaves no thorn when you pick it up from the uh it's uh say plant you don't have to be suffered by corn. So the tomato offer is gift of fiery colors. It attracts us because of its color, red color, fiery color. But we have yellow color tomatoes also. In our country, original tomato is considered to be yellow also, right? Even reds are there. It's gift of fiery colors and cool completeness also. Complete in itself, beautiful in itself, important in itself, inevitable in itself. That's why kitchen or any recipe without tomatoes, especially in Chile and generally all over the world, is unimaginable. Can't imagine. Or any any recipe, any variety, any food item without tomatoes. So here the poet simply wants to underline or highlight the importance of tomatoes in our kitchen. So there are some questions. Let's see stimulating ideas I have mentioned here. How does Niruda feel about tomatoes? How would you describe tone of poem. What words or lines help you understand his attitude about tomatoes? And what are some of these concrete details in your poem? For example, phrases, words, imagery, etc. And you can imagine, especially here, the poetic devices used in this poem. Before then this, let me summarize the poem once again. The poem here simply shows some sort of attitude, positive attitude of potatoes by the author, poet. So cultivation of Tomato has turned out to be fruitful and thus the streets are full of vegetable vendors selling tomato and tomato juice in Chile. Then in December, what happens? In December's afternoon, where now tomatoes are being used for cooking dishes in the kitchen, where it is sliced and added 
with onion, olive, potato, with peppers and salt, and so many other things. And the tomato dish, dishes are being served at the various occasions like wedding day in Chile, in our country as well. Thus, tomato is shown as a perfect fruit. Remember this, tomato is not a vegetable. It's a fruit, we consider it as a vegetable also, but it's a fruit which sours only goodness to other. Means it's inevitable. Let's talk about poetic devices, the imagination that poet has used in this poem, simile. Summer light is half like a tomato. See, as I said earlier, summer light is very sunny, is very hot. And what is the effect there? Because of maybe shadow and light, the town could be Town of Chile could be, places of Chile could be seen like a half potato. One, or red in color, another. Next one is personification. Considering that entity, that object as a person, see, tomato as a person. Tomato in bed's kitchen. Tomato is not army. Tomato is not rebel. It is attacking kitchen. Everywhere, it's abundance. There is next example of personification also. Tomato, as a girl, as a bride, it is wet to the clear onion. It is wet to the clear onion. It means onion is male bridegroom and tomato is a girl, bride, you can see. And the waiting between tomato and Onion takes place here. Next is metaphor. Metaphor is also comparison, but direct comparison. Look at here. It seeds, it sets its own light in all in majesty. Great majesty, like a girl's gentle and simple light. Seeds, its light, signs, this means. It has own light, like a star, you can see. Comparison there, right? Benign majesty. It says it's light. On light. Like a shining ability of star or the God itself. Benign majesty. Gentle, very gentle. But great light. Next, see hyperbole. It is exaggeration. Exaggerating the thing, concept. We moderate, we must moderate, see. The matter is not a person. We don't have to use force. It's an inanimate thing. But Rather is saying we must moderate. Moderate is very hard, harsh word. But it is used over here to exaggerate, maybe. We have to use force, like a looter, and so on. So these are the, some of our all of the poetic devices I have found there. The next important thing raised over here is influence of or depiction of post-colonial history of Chile. And we have to note the thing over here is Chile was the origin point of the matter. In 16th century, it scattered all over the world from Chile, especially uh, Spanish colonizer. They went there, they invaded Chile, colonized. Chile was colonized by them, and the colonizer, not only tomato, but among all things, it was one. For example, uh, Chile was, or Chile is fertile land, and invaded, especially Spanish invader. In 16th century, they invaded uh, Chile for tomatoes also, olive also, it means uh, spices, pepper, salt, manganese, and so many other things. We know that. Why people colonize? Be uh, for resources, because of abundance of resources in those countries, colonize and colonize other countries in the past. So it was one of the 
incident or postcolonial impact what we can see in this poem we can go through the line the slides for example right so look at the thing mentioned over here two halves tomatoes is there two halves tomato means two brother of royal inca dynasty were the native ruler of chile at the time there were two dynasty and civil war broke out then look at here the knife must sink into its living flesh it says is the inca civil war they started fighting with each other and third party got victory over them they got advantages see here then what happened it is way to the clear onion right clear onion means here onion is invader spanish right you can see here so what happened then there is another indication of colonizer no leaves no thorn it was the beauty of chili chili was beautiful no leaves no thorn the tomato offered its gift of fiery color and cool completeness what happened then colonized colonized chili but they did not protest chili and did not protest they openly accepted the colonizer and chili was finally colonized as they were weaker also because chili was then in civil war so you can see this thing colonization or colonialism in this uh, poem another interpretation uh, that we can see is sexual interpretation here chili is said to be a very beautiful uh, country full of resources and gentle and so many other adjectives are there it shows that or even that wedding wedding of uh, tomato with onion that indicates that there is a sexual activities sexual means here two sexes are there and it can be chili chili is a country and we can compare country with female mother etc so this poem can also be interpreted by the angle of sex as the tomatoes are frequently associated with associated or symbolized to women as i said earlier and we know that woman is known for her hospitality and there is a matter of fertility also so woman is perfect being for fertility as well even the fertility can be compared to men also but here is indication for female that means and moreover the poet has glorified women who are married to men as well as i said earlier his expression stating tomatoes marriage with onion not only that there are indication of beauties for example no leaves no thorn there's no mustache no beard it can be no rough smooth attract attractive beautiful benign these all are indications of feminine qualities so we can interpret this poem from feminine perspective or sexual perspective as well so this is all about o2 potato simply o means feeling positive feeling toward things person or place and and elevating that toward the higher level so in this poem also the poet wants to elevate the situation the perception of people toward it we think the matter is very common we may not know we may maybe unaware about the importance of tomato but it is very important without this you can imagine any recipe any food item that's why we have to somehow 
Love it. See it through different eyes. But in case of Chilean context, tomato is chili itself. Beautiful, dedicated, gentle, but exploited by Spanish in the 16th century. Colonized by Spanish in the 16th century. The next perspective is, it's like female, gentle, very beautiful, everywhere, lives mostly in kitchen. These are symbol for feminine quality. So, tomato is very much important, inevitable, or indispensable from our kitchen, our food item, and even from our life. If you have any queries right now, you can ask me. I'll try to solve your problem. If you don't have, I have to say bye. Bye. Thank you for listening to me.